Okay, fantastic. Welcome, welcome everybody to this telephone call. I'm so super excited. And I am so super excited that it's the beginning of the year because I think everybody is revved up and everybody is, is, um, is amped now because it is actually the officially the first month, believe it or not, of 2020. They normally say that that January is like a bridge month for from one year to another. And we definitely, I don't know if you guys felt it, but I certainly felt it was, we needed the bridge between the end of 2019 into 2020 and certainly into a new decade. Um, we have certainly needed that bridge because they, you know, January is also the longest month. Most people feel that really, that long, long, long month, um, in their lives and obviously getting back to work after a holiday, et cetera, et cetera. So February uh, for the year of 2020 is our first month and it being the 6th of Feb, I'm so excited that you're on this call. And you're obviously on this call for a reason because you realize that you've got to start the year on a good footing and start the year with a good mindset and um, how many of you actually do you can for those of you who've got your cameras on can show me by show of hands or even in the comment box how many of you actually do actually have a routine of personal development are are really you know into your personal development with with your your day times journaling Lota does his journaling um, whether it be gratitude whether it be reading um, I'd love you, please put in the comment box. I would love to know what you actually do. Lotar's got, it's time to get more. Exactly. It's time to get more, more motivated. It's time to get more um, jacked up in your daily, with your daily routine. So 5am club, it's a book. Oh, really? Um, I'm going to show you, I'll get my book that I'm actually going to start reading now, um, which I am reading The Power of Now from Eckhart Tolle, which I'm really excited to get involved in. What is that one? The 12 Blessings. Lothar does his 12 Blessings, which certainly goes on a couple of times a day. We've got The Power of Five. We've got audiobooks, YouTube, Abraham Hicks. Abraham Hicks is one of my biggest, biggest, biggest teachers and one of my biggest followings that I do it is it has completely or it completely turned my life around 180 it's suddenly everything made sense to me when I started listening to to Abraham Hicks so for those of you who, who follow the Abraham Abraham Hicks um, series on YouTube uh, and want to get onto my WhatsApp group, you please just let me know and I'll just add you onto the WhatsApp group and we post, we post different things there. Um, Yako, listening to Psycho Cybernetics. What is that, a book? That sounds fat. List, listing to Psycho Cybernetics. Is that a book? That sounds fascinating. And um, how many of you actually do um, your or affirmations, do gratitude, consciously do gratitude uh, in the mornings or throughout your day? I'd love to know. Uh, listening to psycho cybernetics. Okay, wow, that must be fucking awesome. Eric, worry all the time in the car. Awesome, awesome. That's great for, for business. Um, we all have got to, to do his GoPro, which is brilliant. Um, I believe in audiobooks. I've got audiobooks constantly in my university, in the car, I, I, the radio, and I don't dull it anymore. There's just so much rubbish that they're pumping out there that I don't, that I don't even, you know, sometimes there might be a song that I'll plug into, but most of those songs anyway are about people that are just so unhappy and depressed and relationships and things like everybody's crying in those songs so i kind of stay away from the radio as well anyway and now that it is a new year i wanted to ask you does anyone still set new year's resolutions who are actually setting some new year's resolutions this year uh who 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 wanted to give up something who wanted to take up something who 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 actually even sticks to their New Year's resolutions? Do you remember what your New Year's resolution was last January? Did you follow through 
with it until December. Uh, did you succeed? Um, note of course I do. Okay, no daily I do. Yeah, write for affirmations every morning. Absolutely. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, um, I I'm a great great believer in in getting into any habits of writing things down. I've got books and books of of um, gratitude journals. I've got books of F, of uh, my daily affirmations of how I used to do them so that I could actually get into them, which was really awesome. Hi, Leon, welcome. I'm just going to mute you there. Okay, fantastic. So, um, actually stop this here. Okay, well, I'm going to see if I can give you what I hope to, and I'm sure I will give you some inspiration of of going into a new year with a slightly different angle uh, and see if we can really add value to your year of 2020. So the New Year's resolutions I find certainly with me is that I would set them like, you know, if you want to stop smoking or you want to stop drinking, you would set them. And then probably about a month later or two months later, I probably even forgotten what I, New Year's resolution I had set. So I never really took myself seriously um, about any of the, about any of the, the, the um, thing, the goals and things that I'd actually set myself. And this year, when it came to 2020, I realized that if I'm going to set any goals for myself, things have to be done very, 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 very diff differently. I had to actually take a good look at myself and, and think, okay, what is it that I truly, truly want? Where am I in my life in this, this moment? What are the goals that I'm going to set for this year that apply to me right now in the moment? And, um, my old goals, none of those were working. In fact, setting goals for me personally was very disheartening. I, I find that it's, for me, it was a lot of people that were around me that was so competitive and I couldn't keep up with that competitive streak. And that was just me personally. And I had to take a good look at myself and think, okay, something's wrong with my goals. Something's wrong with the way that I'm, do setting the goals and the penny dropped in fact the penny dropped a year ago when I realized it had nothing to do with with me saying I'm going to give up something or I'm going to take up something I realized a year ago that it had nothing to do with words it had nothing to do with writing it it had nothing to do with talking about it what it all had to do and everything made sense was it was all in the feeling about it. How badly did you really want to succeed in with this goal? How really badly did you want to achieve whatever you were setting yourself out for? And last year was a big year for me, last year and the year before, is where I I started, especially following the Abrahams, I started understanding more about feelings and on an energy level, like a feeling of something. So when the beginning of last year came, I went through a complete reset feeling in my persona. And when I faced things in my life that were no longer working for me, they were no longer serving me. I literally, it was a feeling of, have you ever had that feeling of over that old story? I'm so over it. Enough is e enough in my space that now I'm slowing down a bit um maybe I should get into the other internet now that it's going to go I'm so scared I'm on the mobile internet just because 
of the load shedding. So let's just hope that we can get the energy up in here. But going back to, I realized that, um, I'm going to, thank you. Um, I realized that this feeling that I have when enough was enough, when you set a goal in any goal, when you make a, um, a decision to do something, it has to come from a place of feeling. It has to come from a place that is so within you. It's not just what they say, lip service. It's not just words. It's not just something you've written down. It's not just something you've shared with somebody. It is a feeling. It is a feeling of, I am going to do this. I do this. And I, the beginning of 2019, I reset my in life in its entirety from a massive feeling that I had have had or that I had of enough is enough. Enough is so enough that I am now going to change my story. I am going to rewrite this with a different outlook, with a different knowing that I was going to get a different result that it had to start with a feeling, it had to start with a frequency. Because as I said, everything around us, everything that we are in our life, everything that is part of us, everything that is um, uh, part, part of us, that is through us, that is around us, what have you, is all, everything is frequency, everything is energy. And if you are getting the same results that you were getting with your goals that you were setting from the year before and not succeeding, then you have to realize that something has to shift. And the thing that shifts is a frequency and it comes from a feeling. So when I went through this reset at the beginning of last year, it was the end of January, when I literally drew it, a line in the sand. I walked down to the beach here in Cape Town. I got a stick. I drew a line in the sand and I, my, my whole way I was saying it, the way I was expressing it, the way I was, was um, communicating it was coming out with a different frequency, a different expression. And I was also seeing it. Not only was I feeling it, I was seeing it. I was seeing an outcome for the first time because I was actually saying it from right from the inside of me, right from my heart and right from the pit of me was I was making a decision. I was drawing a line in the sand and I was saying out with the old story, the old story of all the goals that I had set, the way I was putting it, the way I was expressing it, the way I was sharing it with others clearly was not working. Just like the hamster goes round in a wheel and goes round and round and round and round, same story, same or the same story, different day. And when I when I started learning about frequencies and realizing that if you add passion to it, if you add feeling to it, you can have a completely different outcome, a completely different outcome. So I drew a line in the sand and I said, enough is enough. I am now resetting my story. I'm resetting my life. I'm resetting everything in my life with how I think, how I speak, how I deliver my message, how I view my messages. It was all the senses that got involved in this. And the moment I put this feeling into it and different frequency in it, I promise you this, it came alive. So when you are putting your goals together, guys, don't just write things. Don't just write things down on a piece of paper that's just writing and has nothing. You need to take this feeling, take this goal and put some body to it. Put life to it. Breathe oxygen into it. And, and you will, without a doubt, shift the energies from old goals. I mean, I know it sounds um, easier said than done. You know, for an example, believe it or not, I was a smoker. So three years ago, I made it with 
decision. I made an emotional decision with feeling and said, I'm stopping smoking. It doesn't serve me anymore. My hair was smelling, my clothes were smelling. It didn't serve me anymore. Enough was enough. I got in an aeroplane, we flew to Vegas, it was one of our Vegas trips. I've never lit a cigarette again. I made a decision because I had tweaked the frequency. I had tweaked the frequency so much in believing that I could stop smoking, I could be a free of it, that it happened. It was so simple. And when you make a decision with an emotion, when you make a decision with any feeling, without a doubt, the ripple effect goes. So you have to be very careful what feeling you are putting in behind this emotion. If you are busy setting your goals and you are not in a good space, if you're busy setting your goals and perhaps you've had a fight at home with someone or you've had a bad day at the office or you've had a, um, or you're not feeling so good inside about something, don't do it. Don't do it. It's like picking up the phone for work or picking up the phone uh, to, to try and get a result for selling stuff, something, whatever. If you are in a bad frequency, that frequency, if you imagine what a ripple, you can all picture a ripple. That ripple is just going, it starts at you, is just going to consume the entire conversation, even through a telephone. You know that you can hear someone smiling on the other side of the phone. Have you ever felt someone smiling? So when you do your goals, when you set any goals that you plan to set, when it's monetary goals, relationship goals, emotional goals, what have you, the first port of call, guys, is to check in on self. How am I feeling in this moment before I make any decision because even writing your goals for 2020 if you've already done them can you picture the day you wrote them were they just Harry casual did you have an emotion behind maybe of desperation that you thought I've got to succeed this year I've got to make that money because I haven't earned the salary and oh my word I better write down I, I earn X amount per month if there was the slightest frequency of ill ease, it's in those words in your goals right now. Energy is everything. And energy, when it is written with feeling that positive feeling, that excited feeling of getting your digestive juices going, of dreaming and believing that you can do this, your goals, one by one by one, will manifest without a hesitation and without a doubt. But it starts with you right from the beginning of how you are actually going to write them and express them at the end of that pen with the ink coming out. The other end is a hand. And that hand is attached to a body which is attached to an energy. So be very aware of when you set any goals or do any affirmations or do any, anything that is even reading your books and things of absorbing the information, check in on yourself first. So tonight I want to, to not only to um, enlighten you on maybe how to set goals or just to, to, to be wary or consciously aware of how to set your goals on an energy level. Your, the way you word them um, obviously counts as well, but it starts off with you actually picking up that pen and checking in on self first. So you need to be in a really good space of I can do this and I, I, I can achieve these goals. They are doable. They really are doable and be very, be gentle with yourself, guys. Do you know how hard we are on ourselves? I'm so, I have been in the past 
incredibly hard on myself and I had a great awareness of that in the last couple of years of how I naturally used to speak to myself um, and so all of that comes out in when you are doing affirmations and if no one can can say I'm speaking kindly to myself but have you ever caught your thoughts and it completely knocks you out of that that positive ripple it goes and puts one of those jiggles in you know when someone throws a hard stone in that smooth ripple so check in on yourself that you really are in a good frame of mind that you have that you are calm and you've got a smile that you use. I've always and I know it sounds you know cheesy and corny maybe to some but I really I keep it so simple I check that my heart has got a smile on before I pick up the phone to anyone I check my heart has a smile on before I write down anything. I check I even have a heart on the smile when I even cook my meal because I'm eating that energy. Everything I do, I check in on my energy field. And it is so important to you. So with setting your goals, and I made some notes here that I wanted to share with you, is that um, you cannot change your story. You cannot change your story until you have literally made that decision energetically that enough is enough. So now we have this really positive attitude. We've got a smile on our heart. We're in a good space. We are now going to actually change our story. So January last year, for those of you who don't know, I, I literally reset my life. I was so... I don't know if any of you have been in spaces like this before, and I'm sure you have. I'm not the only one. I was stuck in my, I was stuck in my career. I was stuck in my health. I was stuck in my relationships. I was stuck in finance. I was stuck where I was living. I was just stuck. Everything was just heavy. Friendships, um, bank managers, you name it. Everything was just heavy and you know the first port of call when you're wanting to unstack yourself is to take a good look in the mirror and check in on self and I suddenly realized okay this reflection of everything that is in my life is obviously what's going on I'm now learning about energies it's obviously what's going on in my energy field it's the same family so yeah I am in this energy field and I'm in the stuck mode of stuck things what needs to change and I had a big shift I had a big shift of enough is enough it's time for a new story I I no go so as I said I walked down to the beach I got a big stick I drew the line in the sand I said right out with the old story in with the new story and I literally felt the energy shift, you know, when you just reach that point of I'm over, I'm done, it's finished. And I went to bed, I, I listened to a lot of Abraham Hicks, I was just plugging into motivational stuff, I was plugging into anything, I don't know who you guys listen to, whether it be Tony Robbins, whether it be um, whoever you um, whoever you are plugging into, it's just positive stuff, positive stuff, positive stuff, and I was plugging into that. And my frequency actually physically shifted. And when that changed, I was able to set goals for, 20, for 2019. And I sold up everything. I was so stuck in my story that I landed up for the month of February, selling up every, every belonging that I had. Um, my children were like, oh my God, what's happening to my mother? She's having a midlife crisis. But I had to do it in my, you know, I, 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 I had to do it. It was so extreme for me. I kept my car, I sold all, everything, beds, linen. I gave so many things away. I kept two suitcases, I got a winter suitcase, a summer suitcase. I kept some of a few of my kitchen things. Um, I sold fridges, I sold beds, I gave linen towels, I gave curtains, I gave everything away. I had no furniture. I had a few boxes in storage of my books and precious belongings, which is still in storage. And when that happened, literally 
the doors of opportunity opened within, within days. I landed up um, a friend going overseas for a few months, asked if I'd look after her house, which has turned into looking after her house until the end of this July. It has been a six month looking after her house, that's 16 months looking after her house. I, I manifested that, I manifested, um, you know, business started moving, my purpose, everything I wanted to do with my coaching, my coaching started moving, uh, my uh, relationships started moving, uh, beautiful things started happening, all because I got things moving and made that decision. So, uh, and it was such a big year. In fact, there's even a book being written about last year of, of those energy shifts and how those practical hints of, of what I learned and daily activities that I landed up bringing into my, into my days and into my weeks and into my life, which completely changed. My life has done a, a 180. Everything has opened up. Uh, energetically for me, which I am completely, completely blessed. And um, so by unstacking myself, first of all, making the decision, I think first of all, having the awareness that that everything is energy. And I really took it back to simplicity of that. You know, people talk about energies and things. So uh, I, I wanted to find out more about it and I did a lot of research on it and I started finding out about it so that I could understand it. And when I realized I was the frequency that was holding onto these frequencies, these negative frequencies of pockets of things in my life, the only way to change this was to, was to change the, to the color of what I was representing. So by learning how to do that, do my thoughts, find my words, find which landed up being my action, uh, if everything obviously vibrationally shifted. So when you are setting your goals for 2020, uh, I, I really strongly urge you, first of all, to check in self. What am I think? What am I listening to? What, I, what am I listening to? I mean, what do you guys listen to? There's, 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 the news is toxic out there. You know, people are going to tell you what's going on in the news anyway. So there's no real, it's not really necessary to listen to it. What are you listening to? What are you reading? Who are you talking to? Who are you hanging around with? Are you getting involved in, 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 in conversations that are, are, are unkind or, or talking about other people or negative that you could easily actually choose? to walk away. So everything now of you choosing whether you want your goals to succeed or not, it goes down to whether your frequency of your goal matches who you are as a person. Uh, so your job is to completely always check in on self. How am I doing? What am I feeding me? What is my diet? What am I reading? What am I listening to? Who am I listening to? Who am I hanging around with? What is going on here? And so check in on self of all your environmental things. Now, a lot of this um, I do cover in, I've got a, a beautiful course that I've put together, uh, which is uh, all about really getting into the energies that I've learned about. And, and it's learning about uh, gratitude and learning about uh, the simplified versions of of um, quieting yourself and meditation and really trying to figure out how do I bridge myself into understanding the, these energy fields so that I can practically apply them to my everyday life. And by doing that and realizing my frequency and me had everything to do with my outside world, I have been able to design my life now, and I was able to design looking after uh, this beautiful home that, I, that I'm looking after, uh, attracted into my space, attracted a relationship into my space, attracted a great career, you know, um, business into my space, have now attracted my coaching business, um, which is taking off beautifully, and everything is falling into place because I checked in on me first. 
so your beginning of 2020 and i'm so glad we, even though you are listening to this as a recording your first port of call is to take a good look at self how am i feeling now what have i got a smile on my heart now or am i all over the place with concern and worry and anxiety that as I'm writing my goals, I'm more desperate about I am or I'm, I earn um, or how am I coming across when I'm actually writing really sick of your old story. Is it really time for a new story? Because if you're not going to go into this wholeheartedly of enough is enough is life enough of the old story it'll only take a week or two and you're still doing your old habits it'll only take a week or two and you're back in the same frequency so it's decision time for 2020 for 20 the year of 2020 is first of all look at self how am i feeling now and when you are feeling super good is right now I'm now going to approach my goals. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to reset it. And how I find getting energy moving and how you find getting it moving. Okay, yes, I did the whole extreme thing of selling up and, and moving everything. Uh, you know, of, of, of really, I, I, it was part of my journey. It's part of my purpose. It's part of my whole story. I had to experience that. Is to start cleaning stuff out. And I keep saying to this, I think I've been saying to a lot of you for over a year now, go and check your drawers, go and check, go and check your cupboards, go and find something that you are procrastinating about to tidy, to clean up. Get rid of stuff. What does your garage look like? Forget your garage even first what's the worst room or the worst drawer that's not you know that bottom drawer in the kitchen that everybody goes into does it need a clean how about your own your own drawers your clothing you know you put that energy on you your clothing is energy you represent yourself what does your cupboard look like you everything about you that you walk out into the world is represented by a frequency do you love your clothes in your cupboard and appreciate them or are you just putting something on slapdash? It's stamping you and labeling you, hey? It's as simple as that. Have you put something on and said, oh, I love this shirt. You put it on, you're walking out in a completely different frequency of putting it on an uncomfortable pair of jeans and trying to do a button up and being like, I hate these jeans. They're so uncomfortable, but I better wear them. And you take that with you you can have such fun with with completely dressing your 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 yourself in your approach to life with a frequency. I suggest I know I did it. I cleaned up my whole cupboard. Of course I did. And I got rid of stuff and I gave it to friends. I'm having such fun with friends of mine at the moment. We I gave all my clothes that I didn't want to a whole lot of girlfriends of mine. And you know what's happening now? I've got some of them that are busy. One went off to England who's, uh, who cleaned out her cupboard and she dropped a whole lot of things with me. And she said, Susie, I know you're lovely because you always looked after me with a clothes. She dropped a whole lot of clothes. I've got another friend of mine who's leaving at the end of this month, heading off to the Far East for six months. She's now giving me a whole pile of dresses and clothes that are in my, cup, in my car at the moment. And she said, I'm not going to be wearing these. I think they'll just be fabulous on you as I'm losing weight and things. So she said, here they are. They need you. We're rotating energy and we're rotating. We're having such fun with it, but we're getting it moving. You understand the movement thing. Get your cupboards moving. Go into your cupboards and clean your cupboards out. When you clean your cupboards out, you're also going to be inviting. <laughs> Tell my wife that she's a hoarder. Watch the stuck energy that is in that hoarding. I used to have so many clothes in my cupboard. I could dress four of my friends with my cupboard, and I still have a full cupboard just with my summer clothes, just with the new lot that's coming. So I have invited new into my life 
because literally that saying after the old in with the new so get it moving and when you put your clothes on put it on and appreciate it if it doesn't feel good don't wear it it's a frequency and go into your meetings go into your you pick up your phone calls feeling good about you you are giving off a ripple be conscious it's in your clothing it's in your food when you eat your food do are you grateful for your food or not or you're just shoveling it into your into your mouth i have new respect for absolutely everything and i've got it down to a precision of realizing how much energy is involved in what we put in our mouth not just what you're speaking but you're putting it in so when you're eating it appreciate it the moment my weight shifted it's fat it's all happening it's happening in front of me and because i have this awareness of the frequency i've now set my 2020 goals in a completely different energy field of who i am now and who who and what i want i have been told i want of homes of 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 finances of um, who i want to be as a person a book that i want to read of courses that i want to do and my goal when i was really in a phenomenally amazing no, not amazing when i was in an incredibly positive state of mind so uh if you wanting to reset your life and you're wanting to get those goals uh achieved this year take a step back after this call have a good look at stuff and say how am i feeling now and even if you are on a feeling a lower energy have an awareness first of all not to beat yourself up about it it's okay then what are you going to do to up your energy even if it's going for a walk and saying and and going into gratitude i know I know that when my energy is being gratitude, I go for a walk, I go for fresh air. I don't have this monkey mind going on in my head. What I do do is look around me in my park where I go, and I just look and I see whether it be the flowers around me, whether it be the flats, whether it be people walking past that are happy, whether it be grateful. or toes and fingers or the the look of the, the the thing we don't normally say thank you for you know how lucky i actually am you know how lucky you are we are so lucky even to be able to get onto a call like this to be on the internet i'm so grateful that that i'm able to 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 pass a message on like this and 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 really 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 honestly and grateful for the internet even with all this load shedding going on and on my little dongle here and it might be a bit blurred and all but i'm so grateful that i'm able to do it i'm so grateful that there's a meal waiting for me after this i live permanently in gratitude and it lifts my energy and when i realize what i do have and what a lot of people don't have it's then that with my frequency up I then get stuff done. I find myself so much more proactive in a better space, and it is normally purely from being in a state of gratitude. So when you are setting your goals for 2020, also don't limit yourself. You know, we tend to set small goals because we don't think that we're even going to receive those small goals. But we're really in a really good space, and we just think. why not i mean if i could tell you stories if i could tell you stories of how we um my i got a friend of mine tracy and i we are manifesting things now uh something like now i wanted to read the power of now i could have gone to a bookshop and spent 400 grand at a bookshop but there are charity shops around where i live and tracy said 
say three bookshops within a row, go and see one of them will have that. And I said, of course they'll have them. And it was my attitude of, of course, there'll be a book for me. I drove down the road. I saw the first charity shop on the right. There was no parking for me. I thought that shop already doesn't have the book. Next one, which is like 20 meters away, I turned left front row parking, walked in there, asked the lady, and she, she looked. She said, no, actually, we don't have a copy, but they constantly come through. And there was a man who was sorting my books in the back. And he obviously went for you. And of course you have it. But I had set off on my journey happy. I set off with the intention I'm going to go and find this book. And I, of course, I manifested it. Everything is a frequency. And imagine setting your goals down. So if you are wanting to change your story this year for, t for the year of 2020, and if you are wanting to change your decade, then it starts, it starts with you, just like it started with me last year of resetting everything in my life because of this, this deep energy of stuff. I got moving by getting my stuff moving. If you find you have got stuff that is accumulated in cupboards, in garages, in drawers, you're back to you have a room that you wanted to do or your own room, or whatever it may be. Take, make a decision. When you make that decision, go align and say, make a decision, I'm going to do it. I am going to get it moving. I am going to take those books to the second hand shop. I'm going to take those clothing to the second hand shop. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. I'm going to do my filing. I'm going to clear up. Make the decision and do it because how you do anything is how you do everything. But I'm going to one up on it. How you do anything in your frequency is how you do everything. So pick your frequency, pick your mood, pick it and then do. If you are not in a good space, don't do. Do not do. Go to sleep. Esther Hicks from Abraham Hicks says, go to sleep. If you can't go to sleep, go for a walk. You are no use to anybody by picking up the phone or by setting goals or by even cooking a meal grumpy. You're eating your grumpy. Do you know that? You're eating a You're dressing grumpy. You're dressing grumpy. You're doing it all. You're driving grumpy. You know all the road rage, you're driving down here, of course you are. Anything you do comes, so this is what I teach in, in my coaching calls and how you actually can perfect your being from the inside out and, and get your vibration going so that you are buzzing. There's a, um, my, my, my mantra for this year is if it is to be, it comes to me. Therefore, I have to permanently check in on how am I feeling in this moment. So make a decision. Make a decision right now. Am I going to change my frequency from my old story so that I can change my story? Or am I just going to play around with this and see how it goes and just focus on what I'm used to doing. It will work this year. If you're in that mindset, you'll get the same results that you did last year. If you are in a new mindset and a new frequency, that frequency that really does come from the heart, not this rattling and buzzing in your head, where you really, really, really know and believe that you like old stories out here. Eh? I mean, Laura, you know, we've spoken. Old story is out no more. We have got to time to shift. And um, in my experience from, from last year of when enough is enough and you actually physically feel that frequency go. You feel it and then you make a decision. I made a conscious decision that every morning I would 
wake up in a better space. I learned how to coach myself into staying happy, it, in waking up happy and getting myself into my happy. And that is what I teach as well, getting myself into my happy, staying in my happy, how I frequentize, how I am frequentizing myself into my manifesting of my abundance of how I'm frequentizing myself into even losing weight of of um, of bringing in abundance of uh, bringing in you know they say your vibe attracts your tribe people that are like minded your business will do if you are on a frequency that uh, becomes that frequency of believing in yourself and believing in your business. People look at you, people respond to you, people completely uh, want you. If it is to be, it comes to me. People pick up the phone and phone you literally. It is a completely just, it's like a whole balance of being, yeah, it is beyond words. You know, when you just, you're just over the old and how do you reset and the reset really comes right from you where I'm making this decision of you so when you're going to write your goals when you're going to do your goals for 2020 stop take a breath check in on self first and realize that this energetic body, whatever you're about to put down on this paper, must have the biggest smile on your heart and be so open to believing that anything is possible. And put those goals down and then watch the magic happen. And put them away. Put them away. And constantly then keep checking in on your frequency and on your happy and um I'm going to leave the most incredible thing happening. I I I it is beyond words of what has gone down in the last year since I reset my life. Um it's it's like surreal that it actually is very real. Uh, and it and it had to happen. I was extreme with mine. So I expect clean cover. <laughs> I like the mothers coming out and you know, should get a whip here. I expect clean cupboards. I, if, you, if you've cleaned all your cupboards and you're OCD anyway with all your cupboards, maybe it's something else, another uh, movement you need. Maybe maybe it's gratitude you need to 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 um, check into. And I'll, I think next week what we'll do is we'll definitely on our call next Thursday week, I want to cover gratitude because gratitude is... is um, so, 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 it's the biggest, most important thing that one should be doing and have an awareness of in your life uh, because that literally uh, opens up you to receiving absolutely anything and the most wonderful thing in. So I do hope that that uh, has, um, has helped you because you honestly and truly, I believe that you of any business can flow freely without any personal development and you actually doing work on yourself. It's not possible. It would blow up. If you are on parallel to building your business, you are building yourself, you will have the potential of having such a successful business that you cannot just put all your energy into business if you're putting a wrong energy into your business. You have to check in on yourself first of how is this energy, you, how is this start of the business starts with you? What is my starting block? What do I look like uh, to the world on a frequency level? Um, which you can now do, you can actually, and it's all your feeling, how am I? feeling now, what am I feeling now, how am I reacting now, 
you're not in a good space, guys, you're not capable of it. When you're on a real high, when you've listened to something, whatever you've plugged in, you've read something great, you've been for a walk, you've done affirmations or what have you, um, then get your piece of paper out and get your goals down. And your goals are, I am, you know, the I am's put them into the present as they say now. There is no future. There is only a now. I am, I do, I have, um, I invite in. It's, you know, it's really, it really is so special, but you have to be uh, very mindful of what state of mind you are in. And being desperate, being unhappy, being half-hearted about it, you will get exactly the same result that you have put on then that you got the last time you put the same goal on. And I, if it's anything like me over the years, putting down goals in not a good head space, in not a good space, um, I was useless at those. Useless. The old one would come through, but majority of them uh, did not come through because I didn't realize that it had to do with the frequency, it had to do with an energetic body. Okay, let's have a look and see. And then before, we've got three minutes before electricity goes off. Um, Lota, you said here, yeah, don't believe if it has helped us know that it's clear enough that you can know for yourself. Be sure you even have to open your belief. Smile, smile. Smiling is so powerful. That's why I said on the phone call, I remember doing a telephone course in my early 20s when I was in travel. And before we picked up the phone, they made us smile. It changes the whole answering of a telephone. So the smile on your face is, in fact, I'm doing a, um, I've got a balancing on Tuesday and they're activating these muscles here. You know, we don't have these muscles activated. Our faces go down on the mind does. This here, if you're consciously aware of locking your smile in, your whole energy field lifts, everything lifts up. And, uh, and actually, your heart lifts up, everything smiles. Being consciously aware of uh, sitting with a smile, these muscles here, yeah, so I'm actually doing a, getting that activated properly on Tuesday. Like, to be very proud of me, Lotho, with the work that's going on with all these smiles. Okay, let's have a look here. Yeah. While in Hong Kong, Lota had to wear a mask on his face. People could not see my smile. Yet some noticed. You'll also see it in your eyes, the sparkle in your eyes. I hope I have added value to your evening this evening. Please um, let me know how your goal, I want to share with me how your goal writing and goal setting went with a different heart, with a different energy field. Let me know as your goals come through. Set small ones, set big ones, set fun ones. Have fun doing it. Put energy into it. And, um, and set yourself up for success in these goals and not putting them on and saying, oh, I don't believe that I can do them, but I need to write some goals down. Yeah, know the value, know your value. And you are all, you are all so beautiful and so wonderful. It's time to clean cupboards. It's time to get energy moving. It's time to get yourself moving. Go for walks. Get out into the fresh air. Walk down to the end of the corner of the garden or something and walk back again. Get moving. Get moving and you will find things start moving. Start putting on clothes with, with a smile. Start eating your food with a smile. Watch things shift. It is fat. I can't wait to share with, more with you. I'm like an energy bubble here. I'm going to share so much more with you over the week. So Thursday night at this stage is our, our slot. Um, and uh, I'm super excited. Please share this recording with your team. Send it out there. I'm going to put it on YouTube. I have to do it in the morning when I'm uh, on, on the internet after load shedding. I'll put it on YouTube. I'll, get, I'll send you all the YouTube link. Please share it far and wide. Get people up on a Thursday night. And um, let me know that this, this, this works for you and you've got value out of this because I would love to be able to share more to you. You, um, 
you have great power in you guys for, for manifesting these goals. You just, I just know I was never taught how. I was just taught to go write goals. I never realized there was a whole bigger story behind it. And I hope that this, uh, this can inspire you and I can teach you and, and pass on the knowledge that I have learned um, on the real, real stuff, which is the energy. Um, so I'm very grateful for you. I'm very grateful that you hopped on. And for those of you who are listening to this, please let me know that I've added value and that you that you really do get something out of this, then I know that I can uh, share so much more, so much more to share with you over the coming weeks and the coming months. So on that note, everybody happy. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And uh, I will see you, whoever's in Cape Town, I'll see you on Thursday, on Saturday. Keith, are you coming through to Cape Town? Not okay, but Al, I'll see you. I know I will. And uh, for those of you, have a brilliant, incredible weekend. And I will see you next Thursday, same place. Next time, I'll put the links all over. You can share and um, appreciate you. Really appreciate you. Have a lovely evening and chat soon. Cheers, cheers, guys. <laughs>